I may have just found my favorite bike. Let's take it for a ride. Okay, today I'm on the Event and Cinch. It's a foldable bike. Let's go over folding the cinch. First thing I suggest to do is remove the battery, get it out of there. That'll save you seven and a half pounds. Next, you'll want to fold your pedals, then release this latch, fold the bike inward, then release this latch and fold the handlebar down. Yep, and here it is, all folded up. It has a 500 watt, 48 volt motor. It's a seven speed bike with five levels of pedal assist. Pedal assist is controlled through a thumb throttle. So it has a 48 volt battery that should get you about 40 miles, except keep in mind if you are using the higher uh, modes, the higher levels like pedal assist five a lot, you're probably gonna get less. So if you're running on that constantly, probably get about half of that, probably get about 20 miles. But um, if you're anywhere in between, you should get about 30, 35. If you're not using it a lot, you'll get close to 40, if not 40. A few things that can affect the mileage that you get out of your bike will be things like um, payload, lots of hills, things like that. So, but I wouldn't worry about it. You're gonna get, with average riding, you'll probably get about 20 to 30 miles for sure. So that's a good long ride. These tires are 20 by four inch wide tires with a gum sidewall. They look great, don't they? With that tan sidewall. They're gonna be great for pretty much everything like the, the loose gravel that I'm on right now, pavement, uh, sidewalks, sand, go to the beach with this bike. I would think snow. I don't have any snow to ride it in, but I've heard that four inch wide tires are great on snow. Has an aluminum frame and uh, it weighs about 68 pounds. So it's, it's a bit on the heavy side, but it is foldable, uh, making it a little easier to carry around. But yeah, keep in mind, it is a 68 pound bike. It has RST guide forks with a 20 to 45 millimeter travel. You can lock them out, so you can either have them, uh, you know, kind of spongy or, or just locked out for good, good uh, street riding. Comes with front and rear mechanical disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. And it comes with a backlit display, which is really awesome on this bike and it can be controlled by an app. Okay, so if you have the Aventon app downloaded, go ahead and open it up on your phone. Go up to the upper left, press that plus symbol, and then tap on that Aventon display icon. And now go to your bike, press and hold the I button, scroll down to connect to app, press the I button again, and scan it in on your phone. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Name it, I'm gonna call it Cinch, confirm. Bike shows up, information shows up. Get out of the, um, the, the display information by pressing the I button and the power button. Now everything shows up on the app on your phone. 38% for power, uh, odometer reading, calorie, max speed, all that good stuff is there. So going across the bottom of the screen, we're already on e-bike. I'm gonna tap on record. This just is uh, your record of rides that you've taken. You can go back and take a look at what you've done. If you press go, you get a map. 
and uh, information here that's all zeroed out because you haven't started writing yet. So once you're ready, you press the green button and you can take off and everything will start getting recorded. When you're done with your ride, or if you, if you want to pause it, you can press the pause button. Then um, when you start taking off again, press that play button again or record button. When you're done, press and hold that red button with the white square in it and don't let go. A circle will build and it will tell you that you're done. Got it. And uh, I'm out and done. So I'm going to close this and go over to the Discover button. This is just somewhere where you can upload images and things like that, your rides, share with other people. Then on the Me button, there's information about yourself. So I'm gonna go back to the e-bike area. On the top right, I'm gonna click on that cog wheel. That's your settings area. This is where you can rename the bike, change your screen brightness on the display on the bike, have it auto shut off after so long. Right now, mine is set to 10 minutes of no activity. It'll shut off. The speed limit, I have it maxed out, which gets me, uh, that's not, I don't think that's correct. That 51 kilometers, I think is something like 28 miles per hour. But my bike, I think it maxes out at 24 uh, with power assistance, not throttle. So you, there's a difference there. So once you get to 20 miles per hour with the throttle, keep pedaling, take your hand off the throttle and you get up to another four miles per hour there. Um, I'm going to drop it down later back to the, at least it's California, the legal speed limit for a class two bike. E-bike is 20 miles per hour, so I gotta drop it down, but I don't remember what it is in kilometers to drop it down to, so I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Then you got your speed unit of mile per hours and kilometers, assistant level. This is just something, another way of changing your levels just like you can on the on the controller on the bike but you're doing it on the phone not sure why anybody would want to do that but it's there if you maybe bigger screen so it's there if you need it and last you can unpair it if you want to sell the bike and remember if you get rid of the bike you should unpair it otherwise when they the next person gets the bike and they try to pair it's going to say that it's already been paired so and i'm not sure how to reset that and get that out of there once the bike is out of your hands. So there's probably a way, Event can probably help you, but it's good to do that before you get rid of the bike. So that's about it for the app. I'm really glad that Aventon includes the app. I wish all bike companies would include an app. It's really helpful. It's, it's a major plus for me. And um, I hope you guys like it too, because it's got a lot of good information. Yeah, this bike's been great on trails. No, no rattling at all. I didn't have to tighten anything up. Nothing came loose. It's got a lot of speed, a lot of power, a lot of torque. Handles inclines, really great. The brakes are solid. Now, this bike doesn't have any lights on it. So it does come with front and rear um, reflectors, but I, I will probably wind up putting a, a light somewhere on it if I do any night riding. I think I'm gonna have to fight for this bike with some people in the house. Everybody seems to love this one. It's a step through with, which makes it really easy to get in and out of this bike or off and on this bike. The color, the color is awesome. This red, like deep burgundy paint job, really nice. So who do I think this bike is for? I think this bike is for anyone. Whatever your riding preference is, if you want another bike to get you around from A to B, commute, go on some light trails, um, beach, probably the snow would be fine. This is a really good bike. You can fold it up, stick it in a corner somewhere, then just pull it out and take off. So I think this is just an overall great bike. Probably no matter what you already have, you probably should have one of these. This bike is just totally awesome. Very solid. Love this bike. Like I said, I think this is my new favorite. Lately, it's just been my go-to bike every time I want to ride. 
whether it's just up and down the block, around the neighborhood, or even off on some light trails. So if you're looking for a great overall bike to ride every day, grab yourself an event and cinch, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, so this portion of the bike review ended a while ago, but I'm still out riding, having too much fun on this bike and I don't want to take it home.